We call it the Rapid Prototyping Lab because we've always had that name and it's actually what we use the technology for. But out in the real world, it's called 3D printing or additive manufacturing. We take a CAD object that's designed by all our engineers and designers and we essentially slice it up into whatever the machine's resolution could be. Very small thickness and measured in thousandths of an inch. And then we can, in, in turn, make a paper model or a plastic model and tweak that uh, resolution to our advantage. One of our machines is called the MCOR Iris. It's consumable as paper. So it can take sheets of paper and layer by layer at four thousandths of an inch, build your object that you're feeding it. It's a unique technology and it's using a tungsten carbide knife to cut out the geometry. And then it will lay glue on the entire sheet of paper to hold it in place and then densely glue where the object was cut out. The process is called selective deposition lamination. And so sheet by sheet, it's drawn into, cut, glued, and then a new sheet comes in, the process repeats. These machines behind me use a technology called FDM, which is fused deposition modeling or filament deposition modeling. It takes very small filament and it melts it into those layers I talked about. So these machines are capable of going down to five thousandths, seven, 10, or 13 thousandths of an inch in order to build your object, to additively manufacture your, your object you're looking for and end up with uh, kind of crazy geometry that could never be manufactured in any other method. It actually accelerates a lot of the design process because an engineer can work with our design crew and come up with 3D designs, which, you know, from a board was a whole revolutionary step to go into 3D CAD, but then take that CAD to the next level, you know, take that model that not only drives that drawing, but can also drive additive manufacturing or 3D printing. And in no time at all, they can actually see how their parts interact. The technology is constantly advancing so that we can produce extremely accurate parts at a low cost um, almost overnight. You know, we've supported flow tests and things that in traditional methods could not be manufactured easily. And if they could, it would take months and months and months. And here we are turning it around overnight or over a weekend. It's extremely fun to be able to take something that's someone's idea or something we've never touched before and either build a scaled version of it or a full-fledged end-use part uh, that's immeasurable as far as how fun it can be.